Hi! Today I'll be making a tutorial of how I do line art and digital color for my chibis. Uh, my friend requested that I do this. Actually, she asked me years ago, so I figured I might as well oblige finally and that I do a video process of this instead of writing it out and screen capping every movement so yeah let's begin before starting i i had taken a photo of a sketch that i did on paper um it doesn't have to be correct i just did it really quickly so when i get a computer i could fix it up and that is where it is now. Um, I've named all my layers, so the layer of the sketch is, is called Sketch Layer. It's a good idea to keep a habit of get into the habit of naming them correctly, so it would save your future self some confusion. Um, above a sketch layer, I sometimes like to do a additional sketch layer, so sketch two, Ooh, sketch two. And I already kind of did stuff there, as you can see. I'm just defining the shape of the face a bit more. And I'd probably go back to this layer if I feel like I've forgotten where my lines were supposed to be. Um, especially if I did the sketch a few days ago. And finally we have the line art layer so far, which is where all our final lines go. So I I did a bit of a head start here because I actually recorded something previously but yeah it went kind of wrong so yeah I uh, started off the eyes which is pretty straightforward I used the brush tool here inside and it's at seven points I did it in a black color but you can use any color you would like Maybe a dark brown or anything, whatever you desire. So I just continue doing the line out here. I'm using a tablet so it makes things a bit easier. Um, usually after eyes I'll do hair. it yet but this is Sailor Saturn from the series Sailor Moon. As some of you might have heard a, a new series is going to come out at the end of this year. Well, that's pretty exciting. I still haven't finished watching the first one again. I hardly remember what happened since childhood so yeah um I pretty much wing the hair because my sketch isn't really that perfect. Um, I don't really have a, a process of doing here. I just kind of just imagine all the hair flowing from the middle of the head and just like, I guess, following the growth of each strand sort of thing. I'm not really an expert on drawing, so I just go with what I feel is right. Hmm, does that look strange? Hmm, looks like there's too many strands. Sometimes I just go back and forth. Mm, get pretty far. 
fussy with my lines. Um, I just decide the fringe will go in front rather than behind. going to oh that's horrible okay um from here on i think i just fast oh just fast forward the rest of my line up process because it's not that fun to watch i'll probably be a bit slow too so um I'll just keep doing the line out. Okay, so I got the line art done now. Um, I'll now proceed to colouring this picture. Um, underneath the line art layer, I'll just make a new group called Colours, and that's where I'll put all the colouring inside. The first layer I make in the Colours folder is usually just a um, a random color that I probably won't use um, in the character so um, I don't think I'll be using green uh, just go with dark green they can still see the the line out with and I just create another layer and we'll start with skin um, how I'm doing it is I'll make a layer for each component of the chibi character Usually I just do skin on one layer, eyes, hair, and a mixture of clothes in one, two or three layers, especially for something simple like this. So let's start with skin. Inside you can just use that one tool to select different sections. Sometimes it's not so precise, so it's good to use the brush tool after afterwards just to get those little bits and pieces um, and you see I'm not being very precise here I just do a rough color and for the skin tone I usually use a light yellow color for the base as you can see here, don't worry about all this, um, get to it later. And um, I'll just color the that didn't get picked up. same here so I'll just keep making my base layers just color the eyes as well here and next would be here I'll do the eyes later Oops, a bit too much. Uh, 
same thing, just use magic wand to grab a section and color it. So this satisfaction has black hair, but I'll just go for really dark purple color. Anyways, I'm just gonna fast forward again um, just while I do the base coloring of everything. Well, there we go. I have all my base colors done now. Um, the colors might be a bit different because. After I finish the video, I accidentally exit Psy without saving it, and yeah, so I had to do that quickly again. Thankfully, it only took 10 minutes, but it was still frustrating because I already done it, and it's like, I have to do it again. Waste of time. <laughs> oh, there's one that I missed out, I'll just quickly do that. Okay, so... After I finish this, I'll color the skin and then go for how I do this, the eyes. I just learned how to do it recently because I was reading someone else's tutorial, but I put my own little spin on it just to make them look more sparkly. Okay, that should be it. Yep, so I'll start with the skin. Skin color. Um, as you can see, I I put each I put each of the um, colors on different layers. So for skin, it's on its own layer. I'll just create a new layer on top of that, and then click clipping group, which will only let me color um within the skin layer, even though it's in another layer, so it kind of clips it to the skin layer. Um, if you're on Photoshop, you create the new layer and then right click and then do create clipping mask, I think. Okay, so what I do is I I drop my color and then I have my RGB sliders here. Um, I just try to go with like a, a reddish, reddish tone. Usually when I choose my shade color, it's um, I try to choose a, a warmer equivalent, warmer and darker equivalent to the base color that I'm using. So I'll go with this. With Psy, I just use the marker tool. Um, Photoshop, I would usually use my custom brush with no spacing. This is so on the right ish. Mm, don't know if that's alright. Mark it 
feels good because it can't really fit in itself, but not too much. And it still preserves the same shade colour. might not be the best way to shade stuff, but um, doing this might should be for overload this year. And then afterwards I'd grab the skin colour and lightly brush over the shader part. do for now I can fix some stuff up later so now let's move on to the eye eye later uh, uh, eye layer I'll just create a new folder for that because I may contain lots of components first of all I'll get the white color and Let's go with violet eyes. So let's make this a bit brighter.
and then I'll have that layer selected and change the mold to multiply just make it a, like about 50 cent or 50 percent or something and just fill in the gaps I'll create yet another layer for the eye and I'll get a lighter shade of this purple It's a bit too much. A little reflection here. Um, just to save some layers, I'll take the marker tool again and get a slightly darker shade to this multiplied part. Trace around the iris, um, pupil, I mean. And then on, okay, another layer. Still using the marker tool, I'll just create some more reflections. I tend to go a bit overboard with my shininess. I use brush tool for this. I think it looks a bit cuter, more shine that has in the eyes. Um, sometimes I just put random colors just for more effect, I guess. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Uh, if you want to add a shadow to the eye, you can just. Um, just find that layer with the multiplied part and create another layer of that and just get a shade color, maybe like a grayish color and brush it over the top most part of the eye. We're going to change this mode to multiply. Uh, just to make this a bit lighter again. Same here. Okay. That should be it for the eyes. Not completely even, but it'll be good enough. So that's eyes sorted. Now the next step would be to draw, to shape the hair. I'll uh, make a new layer about that and do the same thing as I did for the skin. Just, just click the clipping group option up here. So whatever I put in this layer will only stick to here. And that's it. So I'll select this, this hair color. And then um, I'll just explain how to choose the colors again. I don't really have a perfect method. Just go with what feels right. Um, so try to make this color a bit warm and dark at the same time. So let's see what that what color that is. Um, that's a bit too bright. Let's try that again. sounds like a good idea it's um you don't want to stay on the same how do I say it? if you just try to go a little shade darker but not much difference in in the hue it might look a bit bland so um, well, due to my past experience, so um, ever since I um, I decided to go with more warm hues for my shade, it's, it feels like the colors appear to be more vibrant than before. Well, that's just my opinion, though. So um, you can 
take my word for it or try to find your own method. This is how I do it. So now I just roughly um, shade the hair. shaded parts I just scribbled Sometimes I'm not sure if it's actually vibrant enough still, so I just adjust the color settings, brightness, contrast, and hue and saturation. So here, I'm just thinking, maybe the shade could be a bit more vibrant. It looks really similar to the base layer. I guess that'll be fine. What does it look like without the background? Well, not bad. Not bad. So here, I'll just keep going with the same technique I did with the skin on the other layers. And then we should be pretty much done. So I'll just speed through that process and then see what the result is. So there we have it, we've got the completed chibi with line art done and colouring done. I just did a bit of an adjustment with the colours because I felt they weren't vibrant enough. So you can always make the, those tweaks anytime you want. 
Um, just a final touch that I did with the other two beats. Um, I'll just show you what I did for the previous one. Let's see, Sailor Mars. Oh lord. Anytime now. Oh yeah. Oh, this looks more shiny. Oh, it's a bit different. Yeah, I added a little bit of um, blush on the cheeks, so do the same for Sailor Saturn here. I go to the top mask layer and make a new one above it called blush. Zoom right up, use a pen tool or brush tool. Use a pinky color, doesn't really matter since it will probably just change the hue of it later. Just try to cover a good space with the cheeks. I know it looks like a blobby mess right now, but we'll use, this, use the blur tool in Psy. Just kind of fade it out so, like, reach the edge of the face. I just want to do that again. And then the same for this side. There's a bit of excess there. So I'll just use the eraser and get rid of it. That looks alright. Um, now I'll just zoom up and go to filter and change the hue so it's a bit more red-ish. Yeah, that seems to look nice. And if it's a bit too dark, you can adjust the luminance as well. And I think we are done. After. Yay! So that's complete. I hope you didn't get too bored watching my tutorial. But um, that's pretty much the process I go through for each of the chibis I'm doing this year. Yay! Thanks for being patient. And if you followed along too, then congratulations for finishing a chibi Nicole style. Yay!